animals and compile the list of the five most horrible things that live under the ocean. <laughs> he is excited to introduce you to these disturbing creatures. Each table will receive a booklet. Please do not turn the pages in your booklet until instructed. It is now time uh, to be creeped by the five horrible things that live under the ocean. Please welcome Chris Anderson. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, let me hand out these booklets. One, one per table. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I was searching for a topic Monday night on Wikipedia, and I happened upon a Wikipedia entry for a creature known as anglerfish and the entry specifically the anglerfish's mating habits were so disturbing <laughs> that <laughs> it prompted me to research the anglerfish prepare a presentation and I've compiled a list of the five most horrible things under the sea that you've never heard about I've organized them from least disturbing to most disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing with the anglerfish, which is the most disturbing. <laughs> My goal is to inform you of five creatures you haven't heard about, and with the anglerfish, my goal I, is to disturb them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, please do not turn the pages until I've introduced the next creature. The first creature and least disturbing is the blobfish. It isn't dangerous. It's not horrible. It's not, not the quite word to use. It's probably the ugliest creature under the sea. Uh, please turn the page and see the blobfish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it lives deep, deep under the ocean. You have no risk of actually stepping on this or seeing this day to day. Uh, it's not only called a blobfish, it kind of acts like a blob. It's is, l is less dense than water, so it means it floats upon the ocean floor. And it's really lazy, and it basically just kind of opens its mouth and prays that food floats into its mouth. <laughs> that is the blobfish. Uh, please, please don't turn the page out. <laughs> the next creature, <laughs> I have to introduce it. Uh, who here has been suctioned by a leech in their life? Has had a leech on them, anyone? I have. Okay, good. Well, this isn't a leech per se. It's a fish that has teeth and it sucks blood, and it's about the size of a garden snake. Please turn the page. This is this horrible creature, the lamprey. It's basically a tube, bloodthirsty tube with teeth on it. And it's a problem. It lives in the Great Lakes. It's a problem because once it sucks onto the fish, it's so big, it sucks out so much blood, actually, it just kills the fish. It drains it whole. And the next creature is, is much worse than the lamprey. The next creature, it's like the lamprey in that it's a leech, it's ugly, it looks like a leech. <laughs> but it's much worse than that for two reasons. And it's one of the ugliest things you'll ever see. Please <laughs> turn to the page. This next creature is the hagfish. Ooh. And as you can see, it's, it's very ugly. It's like this big tube. And it's especially disgusting for two reasons. First reason is its defense mechanism. A hagfish this size, when threatened, it actually can release up to about a pint of, of mucus. Oh. Not. Oh. <laughs> and it releases so much <laughs> mucus that the fish that's attacking it actually suffocates. There's so much that comes out. And believe it or not, to clean itself, uh, it's so disgusting. It actually can, if you can picture this, it goes into a knot and swims through itself, like oh. to clean the snot off of itself. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the real reason it's, uh, it's third on this list. The real reason is its feeding habits. When it, it likes you and wants to, to eat you, it swims up to you, attaches like a leech, but it doesn't suck your blood. It goes, it burrows, it kind of nestles inside you goes inside its victims and, and once it's, it's comfortable, it's at home, 
then it slowly nibbles and eats you out from the inside. Oh, oh my goodness. And that's one of the reasons it's one of the most feared predators to deep under, under the ocean. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the next, the next one is, uh, is especially horrible looking. Does anyone here not like insects or roaches? <laughs> Very glad you attended, Becca. This, this one's, next one's for you. you. You know, a garden variety roly poly, like those little things in your, mm -hmm. your garden. This, this next one's awful. It's basically a, a 12 to 16 inch roly poly. Please turn the page. This is a giant isopod. And it's, especially the upper left hand picture is awful. It's like he's holding a puppy or a baby, it's huge. And it's, I, I was shocked something like this ever existed. It's a huge it it's, It basically lives on the bottom of the ocean and waits for stuff to fall down. And they, they, they swarm around it and they eat it. So don't swim too deep. <laughs> okay, now we're up at the uh, star of the show, the anglerfish. You've probably seen the anglerfish before, but I'm going to reveal something horrible about it that's going to disturb you whenever you see these. This, Please turn the page. This is the creature from Little Nemo, if you remember, the scary thing under the ocean. You've all seen this before. It's, it has little light, and it lures fish close and eats it. Now, what you did not know about the angler is its horrible, horrible mating habits. It's unique in, in nature in that the female is much larger than the male. This is a female, about this big. The males are these whippy little guppy fishes. And when they mate, the male latches onto the female, the side of the female. And not only are they physically weak, you could say they're emotionally needy because they, they <laughs> cling on to the <laughs> They never let go. And it gets worse. The female actually grows and grows and grows. And so the male is then now half inside the female, half outside. And they actually intertwine their bodies so that the male is literally an appendage of the female. So all the men she's mated with are these like fins sticking out of her. I and that know. is why the angler is the most horrible fish. I hope I have enlightened you to five <laughs> new creatures. And with the angler fish, I hope I have disturbed you. <laughs> <laughs> right.